Hey everyone, I am here with a fun little tutorial. I've never seen it done like this. Maybe some of you have, so please um, forgive me if you've seen it somewhere and I don't give credit because I've never seen it. But I've just been having so much fun with these different variations of paper clips. I can show you. This would just go up on the top of your little journal like this. And um, I thought, well, that would be fun to add a little pocket in there to the paper clip. So I'm just going to show you really quickly how to put that together. And it's really pretty easy. So let's just get started. Um, first thing I did is this is I took on a piece of light cardstock and I printed both sides. This is from the April subscription kit but you can do any kind of double-sided paper eight and a half by 11 and then I cut it into strips I believe this is two and a half two and a half inches all right and then I just made a score line at seven inch inches that's pretty arbitrary because you'll see why we'll be trimming later depending on the size you need so let's just get going. The first thing, I'm going to fold this one the opposite way I did the last one so we can see what this, at least I think it will be. No, maybe we need to go this way. We need to go this way. All right, there we go. Now it's folded and I have taken a paper clip and I'm putting the long one right here on the shorter side of the paper. Then I'm going to go ahead and fold that down and it doesn't matter if it covers all of it because it's we're going to come back around the top anyway but you do want to get the edges as lined up as you can so we just have a simple little fold right there all right now we're coming over onto this side and this side's the shorter side so you'll notice that you're going to have this gap right here and that's what you want because you want that paper clip in there nice and snug so just fold that again. If you want, you can use a bold bone folder or I usually just use my fingernail. All right, <clears throat> now we're coming down here. Like so, lining up those edges. And then in line with that piece right there, you're gonna fold this up. This is gonna become your pocket. Now you'll notice right now, your pocket is clear up here and we don't really want that. So just trim it to however high you want your pocket. I'm just gonna make this one maybe a little taller than the last one. It'll give me a little more room to embellish it. All right, so we have that. And for mine, I went ahead and made cute scalloped edges. You can do that if you would like but it's totally up to you. This is just a border punch. There's tons of different varieties and different patterns. I only have a couple, they're kind of pricey, so I don't have a ton, but I like to have a few. All right, so this is where we're at. This will become the pocket, and then our clip will just go right in here, and it's a hidden paper clip. Now, I did do a few little things extra. Um, I wanted these corners here rounded to just emphasize that that's where the clip is going to go. So what you're going to want to do to round that with my type of rounder anyway is you'll have to take it out and just keep track. These are the ones. You could even mark it if you want, but these are the two corners that I want rounded. I think I want my smaller round. There we go. And now we're going to ink, and I'm actually gonna ink on camera, but I like to ink around those little lace edges because it really makes that pattern pop. We need to go here. We'll need to go here. You can kind of just see where you're gonna need to ink because it'll be the visible part. You don't have to ink all of it. All right. So we got all that done. Let's go ahead and put our paper clip back in. Short side right here, long side right here, and pop it in the center. All right, 
that is it. We are ready to glue. Let's go ahead and start gluing. Now on this one, at this stage, I actually went and sewed with everything unfolded and sewed around this edge, but you don't have to. So I'm gonna show you the no sew option for that pocket. You're gonna go ahead and just glue up these two sides. If my glue will work, it was working two minutes ago when I made the prototype. Here we go. All right. Just a tiny bit of glue up each side and that will get that pocket ready to go. All right. Now, while I'm going, I like to keep putting things together and making sure I'm getting it how I want. So you'll notice on this one, I put in a tiny charm right here because I don't have anything big in that pocket, so it's not going to affect how the pocket works. So I'm going to go ahead and do that before I do any more gluing, or you're going to run into some issues. So for me, I just wanted it right there in that tiny little corner. And I have a tiny little eyelet. And then I have a few jump rings. because I just wanted a little charm. You don't have to do this. This is seriously just the fun embellishing part for me. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. These little pliers to me are so helpful because I can never seem to get them lined up quite right. And the pliers really help me because otherwise I tend to like break a nail or something. All right, jump ring in. Hopefully I've got that facing forward. There is a forward and backward to these charms, believe it or not. There we go. Ooh, I really botched that one. That's okay, we can fix it. All right, there we have our cute little charm. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish gluing everything in place. So I don't want that paper clip going anywhere. So I'm gonna put quite a heavy amount of glue down and especially I'm gonna hit those edges. But we want that to stick nice and tough. So we'll go ahead and glue that down. And we wanna glue this piece down too as well because it's gonna be holding the big side of that paper clip in place. And I'm just using my art glitter glue. Fabri-Tac would be a good one too, just cause it has a little more volume to it. I don't think, um, I don't think like a glue stick would be very great to hold this just cause it's bulkier. All right, then this is gonna come down and seal the deal. Go ahead and hopefully finish that off. Getting those edges. All right, so now we have our cute little pocket ready to go. Here's our cute little paper clip. And you'll notice because you're using it as a pocket, you could use it on this side with some little tags. I'll just grab like a sample tag, like something like that, and it will hold fine. It's pretty stable, or you can use it up on the top. I don't think it would be great to be using on the bottom, but that can stay in there. Um, let's see, I'm trying to see if I just have another little tag lying around because I forgot to grab little tags to put in. That's okay, we can use this one. For now but anyway so you would put your cute things in the pocket and then I have this cute little message or you could put some lace um, it's kind of whatever you want let's try this I have a little tiny scrap of lace right here let's just go ahead and put that down and I'm gonna scoot it over just a hair And then I'm gonna put my little word on there. 
with a good amount of glue. We we'll want that word to stay. So cute. Um, and then if you wanted on the back, on this one I put a little butterfly. You could just put a cute little sign or another word possibly another butterfly, whatever you want. But you can just see how fun those are to make and super easy and super cute. So anyway, I hope you enjoy. Let me zoom you down for a close up of them before I let you go. But that is how they work. And I think I'll be making a few more of those for a journal I'm working on. So anyway, I hope you enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.